For those of us who don't live with a disability, it's easy to go through our day-to-day -day life without thinking about a lot of these physical barriers they might be actually at the policy level. Just because someone's living with a disability doesn't mean that they should have limited access to every other part of their life, which is absolutely the opposite of what our mission is. Our mission is to ensure the health and safety of all people in Lewis and Clark County. And we can't do that if we are accidentally, inadvertently leaving people out. So within the department, uh, we started by just bringing together the work group. And so that was something that we, had, we didn't have before. Um, so that was a, kind of a new and innovative way of approaching a need within, uh, within the department. We found a lot of success inviting individuals with disabilities into that work group to help us learn and gain a greater awareness and a better perspective. One of the great things that's come out of the inclusiveness work group is our inclusive policy at the local public health department level. That policy is really pretty groundbreaking. So when we make a decision to implement a policy, every decision that's made after that will be made through that lens. Anybody can look at the Americans with Disabilities Act, talk about path of travel and how high a countertop should be. And, and I was invited to the table to fill a specific role. And that role was to give the perspective of somebody with a disability, not just how my physical disability affects, but also the, the mental and emotional part that everyone that struggles with a disability faces. So little things like the door into the bathroom. And so by just making a small adjustment in the tensioner at the top of the door and make it easier to open and close, improve somebody's life right there, making sure that signs are identifiable and they mean what the person who placed them meant for them to say. There's a, a system now that can let the fire department know I'm, I'm here, I'm safe in this area, but I am gonna need assistance getting, getting up and out. When we create a culture of inclusion within our health department that bleeds into our community, we start to change the way that we think. Our lens shifts. Some of the big outcomes of the project are the inclusive wayfinding system that the city adopted was made inclusive by choosing specific fonts and colors and sizing to make sure that it's visible and readable to everyone. Charging stations that are located in the city county building and the capitol building are great examples of small changes that can happen that make a big difference. We did a community-wide assessment that uh, showed that we had this really great trail system. Um, however, the trail system didn't necessarily meet the needs of individuals with disabilities. So um, we used Walk Audit that allowed us to, to see through their eyes and through their perspectives where our community fell short and where we did really well. And we could make some plans and adjustments from there. The reality is that a city can be held liable if someone doesn't have access. There have been lawsuits that have been filed and, and won by individuals in communities. And as a result, a city or a municipality is responsible for, over time, making those changes. And we use these walk audit trainings to do ongoing work in the community to make sure that as changes are made to our built environment, they are done in an inclusive way. You don't have to wait for funding. There are so many small changes that can be made that don't actually cost any money. Bringing people together, asking the experts, asking people with lived experience, those who do live with disabilities every day, and bringing them to the table. That's been the greatest eye-opener for our work group and for me individually. So it's really exciting to see that long term when you create a culture of inclusiveness, it's not a heavy lift anymore for us. It's just happening naturally and it's the way that people do business and it's the way that people see 
the world.